Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And this is a reading for Monday the 3rd of July, but you know it's timeless. So pile number one is the Amethyst, pile number two is the Howlite, and pile number three is the Shiva stone. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile. Move that out of the way. And I hope everybody had a lovely weekend. Okay, pile number one, the amethyst. You guys have um, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Ooh, you have the lovers. So this is a love situation here uh, with the lovers. This could be like a twin flame, it could be a soulmate. Um, could also be someone that you've been in separation with. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the World. You have the Seven of Wands and you have the Ace of Cups. I feel this is someone from your past in all honesty. I know you have the Ace of Cups there, but um, I feel there's something here about like with the seven of wands, like defense is coming down here. I feel like this is maybe like a sort of, I don't know, someone you've maybe been in separation with, but um, like the defenses are coming down here. So you have the ace of pentacles here with the world. Someone uh, is like, there's an offer coming in here. Like this person, whoever they are, they want to move this, like they want to restart something with you like they want to start a new cycle with you um so they're basically going to come in and tell you how they feel is kind of what i'm picking up here they could be an aquarius so they could have that strongly somewhere in their charts but they have a lot of love for you this person let's see what other cards you have oh you have the number 10 the journey this person could live far away from you or like maybe not far but like the next city or the next state or the next country. They're going to want to come and see you. Okay, so like the Ace of Pentacles is like some kind of practical offer. You know, so it's like, hey, can I come see you? Let's go for lunch. Let's go for dinner. Okay, there's something to do with traveling here involved. But in addition, this offer that they want to make, it, they... I don't know if it will, but they want it to move. Like there may have been some kind of ending here between you both. They want to move on from that. I don't know if this offer will do that, but that's what they want to do. Um, you have wealthy man, and you have the ace. Uh, well, I the unexpected income, but I always call that the ace of pentacles in this deck. So you have the ace of pentacles twice. So there's a lot of love here, but there's also something like this person, they really do want to make you a very solid offer. Um, with wealthy man, you know, that can obviously be a woman um, as well, but this person could be a Taurus or they could be an earth sign. They could have like quite a bit of money here. I'm actually going to pull a couple of extra cards. Is there anything else about this person? Like what, what do you want pile number one to know about this? You have the five of pentacles. So this person, uh, this is someone that's been left out in the cold that doesn't want to be out in the cold anymore, okay? So there was some kind of ending with you both. Oh shit, pile number one, the 10 of cups just came out. Wow. Um. So this is what they're offering you. This is what they want. Um. This is what they want. They see you as their Ten of Cups or they don't want to be left out in the cold here. They want to move on from whatever ending you guys had. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. This person's been working very hard, uh, possibly to save up money or possibly like to work on this Pentacle. They may be quite wealthy already or they're good with money or something or they have Capricorn in their chart. They don't want to fight anymore. Okay, I see the Five of Wands in reverse here. I mean, it was in reverse when I pulled out, but I don't like keeping them in reverse because it looks messy. <laughs> um, so I don't know if things were just up in the air with you guys or 
Yeah, I, maybe you were fighting because I see the Five of Swords here. So it could have been like a one-upping thing. And eventually you just threw your swords down and you were like, you know what? Bye. <laughs> Peace out. I got no doubt. I don't have time for this. What's the outcome of this situation, please? Oh my god, I just saw the Two of Cups. Um, if you, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. If you've had a lot of readings where a King of Pentacles is showing up, I think that's this person, okay? I think they're quite wealthy or they've at least saved up quite a bit of money or something. They could definitely be an earth sign. Be careful of a pregnancy, okay? That, you know, I feel like you could, you might get pregnant very fast here, okay? And I saw the Two of Cups. So I feel like this could actually end in a union for a lot of you. What is the, um... What's the outcome of this situation, please? For pile number one. I see the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. So this could actually end, like if this is what you want, pile number one, um, this could end very well for you, okay? Like very, very well. Uh, yeah, the Eight of Cups, this could be someone that walked away. I don't they have a lot to say. They're kind of cheeky, because <laughs> I've noticed they've just got themselves at a whole reading here, okay? So this might be someone that's kind of cheeky, or quite forceful, or something. Alright, there's a lot coming out, so I'm just going to let them talk. Um, so this could be someone that walked away in the past, that is now coming in with this with this offer. Okay, Page of Pentacles, they could be a younger earth sign. There's three fives here. There's definitely sadness in this connection, but they're very sad about how this turned out. There was a lot of hidden emotions here with the moon and the three of swords. A lot of hidden emotions, lots of things left unsaid. They've been really sad, I want to say, like really sad without you, but they never told you. And you have the four of wands and the star. Um... I feel like, you know what, see if you want to, I feel like you guys will be very happy together. I feel like this is leading to a commitment if you want it. Um, they want to heal this with you. I'm kind of picking up that for some of you, they may even like ask if you want to move in with them. Like if it's someone that you know very well, okay? And you have the, the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, they're coming in with an apology. This person has taken their sweet time, is what I want to say, okay? So that was your reading, pile number one. I don't know why you got like a whole reading there, but the person wanted to talk, so here we are. Um, they could be like a twin flame runner, is that also what I just picked up? Um, but this time they will be very loyal, okay? So that was your message, pile number one. I hope you found it useful <laughs> with your weird mini reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Pile number two, you guys had the how light. So you have, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. You have the ace of pentacles again, uh, sorry, spoiler alert for pile number one, a strengthening bonds. You have the knight of pentacles and the nine of cups. So there's some kind of offer coming in that's gonna make you very happy, okay? It's like some kind of wish fulfillment. It's something to do, I mean, you could be dealing with a Taurus, but there's something about like your dreams, something that you've been working towards. And I wanna say in terms of like finances or your career path, there's an offer coming in that's gonna help solidify that. Like it's, you know, if you've been wanting to do a certain thing, like a certain goal, some kind of opportunity is going to come in that's going to allow you to form a much more practical plan to get there, okay? Um, you have the Eight of Wands, so this is some kind of communication coming in. Okay, so you're going to have to take it as it resonates because that could be a job offer, obviously, or it could be some, you know, someone, maybe you have your own business and it's, you know, you get an inf I don't know, like some kind of idea about how to move it forward. I feel like it's some it's some kind of offer though. 
or some kind of idea it could be as well that that really solidifies this and gives you a practical plan but it could be going into business with someone is also what I'm picking up here like with the knight of pentacles this could be someone who's offering you some sort of solution okay you have bad health but it's in reverse um, you have occupation which is sorry you can't see that occupation that also came out in reverse and you have change and you have privileged lady so I'm kind of picking up here you're going from there's some kind of change all right there's some kind of change there's some kind of freedom there's some kind of offer or idea or solution that comes in either from yourself or from someone else that provides some kind of freedom for you, like some kind of change. And basically, I feel like here, it's you've been working really, really, really hard on something and almost to the detriment of your health, I want to say. I don't know if that's because you're worrying or you're like working yourself into the ground kind of thing. But you're going from that to privileged lady, you know, or a privileged guy, <laughs> if you're a guy, if I can get the words out, oh my god. Um, so it's some, some kind of offer or like idea or solution that comes to you that's going to make you very happy and you're going to feel, it's going to be like night and day. You know, if you've just been kind of working, 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 working all the time, and you're like, oh my God, I can't catch a break. Like, what? Oh my God, I'm so tired. There's some kind of practical solution coming in and you're going to feel like a privileged lady, you know, like compared to what you've been uh, dealing with. You're going to be like, oh my God, like, this is so much easier. I have so much spare time and stuff. This is cool. I like this. Like a huge weight will be lifted off you. But I do feel... Yeah, I don't know how it's, you're going to have to interpret that, but um, it, it, somehow, it somehow manages to tie in with furthering your dream or what you wanted financially, okay? I mean, it could be physically moving. This could also be related to pile number one. I don't know, it could be the same person that's coming in for some of you, like you may end up moving in with someone and that sort of takes you know the heat off you financially or something like that but there's some kind of communication that comes in that changes things for you and I've just happened to I was just playing with the deck uh what well, I don't know why um I was called to like cut the deck here so with this queen of swords you could be like a teacher um or a counselor something to do with communicating information for some of you Okay, like a, you know, teacher, writer, counsellor, YouTuber, um, making movies, something like that. Okay, um, so yeah. Yeah, the Empress has just come out as well. Like, you're going to be sitting pretty with this. It's going to give you a lot more free time. Oh, that's, I feel like for some of you, because i just seen the Emperor and the Empress have just come out together. I feel like for some of you this is maybe related to pile number one. Like someone's going to come in and help you. It, it could even be like your divine partner. Yeah, because look, here's the world. Came out for pile number one too. So there could be like a, a cycle. Look, something's going to happen really fast. Um, it's like a divine partner coming in. But I feel like you're going to work with them in some way. Or like them being in your life is going to help you with your career in some way. And again, with the world, you could be moving, you know, moving into their house. They're moving into your house. You're moving to a new city. But with the tower, it's like something's going to change. Okay, so that's kind of a cryptic message, but that's what's coming out. So, <laughs> and you know, I honestly, I don't even really try and fight it when spirit goes cryptic because usually that just means like, oh, we want it to be a surprise. And you're like, oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> just tell me. Um, so anyway, pilot number two, I hope you found it useful if it was, if cryptic. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.
And pair number three, you have the Shiva stone who always tries to run away. So, oh, he's staying this time. Okay. So you have nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. You got a ton of these cards. I don't know why you got so many, but you have the energy is gaining momentum. You know what? That's interesting that that Shiva stone didn't like try and run away because it usually does. I wonder if that's significant. You have take time to breathe out. You have have faith in your dreams. See how many of these cards you got? I think the other piles only got one. And you have step out of your comfort zone. You also have the eight of swords, helpless and hopeless. But you see here, you may have been feeling helpless and hopeless. But you're starting to come out of that. It's like the sun is coming up. You can see a way forward. And you, I don't know, maybe you were choosing. Because he, he has two pathways here. I've never noticed that in this deck. But maybe you were trying to choose between two paths and you didn't know which one to choose. But I feel like with the sun, you know what it is though? You've been trying to make the choice in the dark. Because it was nighttime. Because I feel like it wasn't the right time to make the choice. So there may have been some choice that you were trying to make and you were like, I don't know which way to go, but you weren't supposed to choose at that time. Because the sun is coming up and it's going to show you which way to go. So you're about to become unstuck, but I almost feel like you were supposed to be stuck. Your cards are all in a jumble as well. Hold on. Okay. So that could have been how you were feeling. Like, um, you just couldn't see the way forward or something. You know what? I don't know if maybe, just only take this if it resonates, but some of you who chose this pile, did you have a bit of a fear of commitment or something? Because I'm noticing that this, the, the little Shiva stone here, like, usually it tries to run away. I can't keep it on the table, but this time it stayed. So there could have been something about like maybe you were tr you were thinking about giving up on something or someone and now you're like no I'm gonna stay like I'm gonna see this through because you may have been thinking like nothing will come of this situation but things are starting to move and I feel like you feel that I don't know why but I feel like you feel things changing like your mindset is changing um, you have to take time to breathe out. So you may have been like meditating more. You may have had to because you've been trying to find answers. And you have have faith in your dreams. See, I feel like there's there's been a change in a mindset here. Like you might have moved from thinking that something couldn't happen or like it was just pointless And, and now you're, you're moving towards like this, like a different mindset, like no, like having faith in my dreams because you can th see things start to move. You have the justice card, again, with some kind of decision. You have the ten of wands and you have the six of cups. So there's something here about, I feel like you're making some kind of decision, first of all. But there's something about seeing things clearly. I feel like you couldn't see things clearly before and I kind of feel like you weren't supposed to. Yeah, look, there's the High Priestess. Things that you couldn't see clearly before are going to come into focus now because I feel like it's the right time. I also feel like there's some kind of offer coming in that you're going to have to make a decision about, okay? Um, and because it's something to do with like with the Ten of Wands You've been carrying some kind of heavy burden. Um, pile number two, I had to cut a bit of your video out because this card here is the devil and they are in the nip, so I can't show that, okay? So if the video cut, that's why, okay? Um, but there was some kind of heavy burden that you've been carrying and I feel like you've been carrying it since childhood, the Six of Cups here. So you may have inherited something from your parents or like your caregivers, like like a lack mindset around money or maybe something to do with like not thinking marriage has worked or something like that, okay? 
but it's been holding you back and you have thief imprisonment yeah whatever this mindset was this devil mindset was keeping you stuck and you have poverty and you have coffin whatever this thing is from the past you are letting it go i feel like it's a mindset mm, excuse me i feel like it's a mindset and it's i don't know it's something that you inherited like from your parents or from a past life maybe or something maybe you know it's like something you grew up with what is this ace of pentacles the four of pentacles the king of pentacles hmm Okay, for one thing, I feel like you're breaking through a mindset about money. I feel like a lot of you have, like, gr you grew up with some kind of lack mentality or something like that. And it's nothing, so it's not your parents' fault at all. I'm not saying that. It's just, you know, sometimes when our parents, you know, were, like, poor or they struggled for money or something, we inherit that. But I feel like you're breaking through that mindset. Because I feel like you have a lot of money coming in. Okay, so there's like with the Ace of Pentacles, there's some kind of idea or some kind of job offer or some kind of opportunity that's coming in and it's because, or like success, you know, and it's because you've broken through this mindset. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. I also feel like this could be, it's weird how all the piles seem to, yep. All the piles seem to interact today. <laughs> um, you might want to watch the other two piles because for some of you guys, this is like your divine counterpart coming in. Um, this is the lovers, that card. So I feel like there's a breakthrough in mindset that's bringing in your divine counterpart and money. It's like this feeling of like deserving or like a feeling of like, yeah, I can be rich. Like it's okay, I can, I'm allowed to be rich. I'm allowed to be happy, like marriage works. It's gonna be different for different people, but feel free to claim all three of those things that I just said, but you're having some kind of terror. But this person that's coming in, if this King of Pentacles thing resonates, and also have the King of Cups here. Are you making a choice? <laughs> Pile number three. Why is that two of pentacles there? Why is that two of pentacles there? Temperance. This is, um, like, only take this for, you know, those of you who resonate with it, okay? But I, I feel like some of you may have been attracted to pile number one <laughs> and possibly pile two. Because I feel like there's a person that's come in. It's like your divine other half, male or female. But they're grown up, okay? This person has learned to balance themselves because they may have been very, like, closed off emotionally or something like that before. You know, or maybe they were too focused on money. Oh, I see. This could be someone you're about to meet as well. It doesn't have to be someone coming back from your past. It could be someone you're about to meet. But I feel like there's a counterpart. That's what's been running through all the readings. I feel like there's a counterpart coming in. And it's like, um, you teach, you teach them to focus less on money and like more on like the softer side and like getting in touch with their emotions and their spiritual side and blah 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 and they teach you about the bank <laughs> like about you know money and like feeling worthy of money and material things you know what i mean because you might be more spiritual or you can take this to be vice versa right but you may be more more spiritual and they may have been more materialistic which is not a bad thing um but I feel like you've kind of learned from each other and I 
feel like you may have, I don't know, you're going to be a very good partnership because you, you kind of balance each other out, you know what I mean? And I just, I see the four of wands here as well. So I don't know what that is. Like if this is romance for some of you, it's going to be romance. Um, but with the page of pentacles here, it's, it could also be a job, you know, or some kind of living situation. Look, you have the ten of pentacles here as well. Um, you guys are going to be wealthy together. I don't know if that's just because you move in together. And, you know, you're both good at making money or you balance each other out very well or something. Um, or if this is a business venture that someone's offering you, but you're going you're gonna to do very well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't know why I'm losing my voice. <coughs> this is someone who hasn't spoken up. That's why I'm losing my voice. Um, this is someone who has not spoken up about feelings, I think, in the past, and they're going to come in and do that. They're going to come in and talk about feelings, okay? But you may end up, you know, with the Four of Wands, like in a relationship with this person, Ten of Pentacles as well. You may live with them. And I see here in my little cards, I see the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords. So this could be someone that, like, broke your heart in the past for some of you, that you're moving on from that now, okay? It doesn't have to be. That's just for some of you. Remember, it's a general reading. And you have the Moon and the Knight of Wands. So, like, in the past... They may have been kind of flaky, kind of in and out. They maybe didn't know what they wanted, but you have the death card and the six of wands. So they've been through some kind of transformation. That's what you've been waiting for. Okay, like they've been through some kind of dark night of the soul here, um, learning to kind of get more in touch with their emotions, really. Also, this could have been someone that kind of kept you as, a, as an option in the past. So they're going to come in and communicate with you and I think you're maybe going to be suspicious at the start, okay? But um, yeah, I see it actually working out very well if that's what you want, okay? But for some of you, if that doesn't resonate with you, this will be someone new, okay? And if you're not looking for love, it's a business partner. And I don't know why the readings are so long today. <laughs> But this is just what happens, so I've just gone with it. So I hope it was a useful reading, pile number three. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Take care.